Let's talk about how to treat pad injuries in dogs. Now, pad injuries are very, very common because obviously um, these pads are hitting the surface of the ground. And dogs like to run, play, and some of our hard surfaces like concrete and asphalt can sometimes tear up these pads. Or there can be glass or things like that, and, and they can cut their pads very easily. And so the first thing to know with a pad injury is they can sometimes bleed quite a bit. And so getting the bleeding stopped is our first priority. Um, if you can, your first priority is to get your dog to a veterinary clinic uh, so they can take care of that. Some of these uh, pad injuries require sedation and suturing and bandaging. Some require just bandaging um, and skin gluing. It just depends. Uh, so your veterinary clinic can help you with that. Um, depending on where the cut is, uh, identify that. Uh, the best thing to do is going to be to put some sort of gauze pad um, or, or, or pad across it that will control the bleeding and then taking um, like a self-adhesive wrap and gently without any constriction or, or any tightness at all just gently wrapping around that paw. What that'll do is create a little bit of a compression bandage enough to stop bleeding so you can get to your veterinary clinic. Um, if, it's, if you're out in a remote area, um, keeping a triple antibiotic ointment or something like that with you is a good idea to coat into that wound first, then covering this. The biggest thing to know is making sure that these toes don't swell. If the toes are swelling, your bandage is too tight and you need to loosen it.